Hello, everybody. Here I am. I'm in the, the ducks. I made them a big pond. I gave them the medium pond, and I gave them a mud pond. <laughs> it's full of yummy worms and lots of little critters they like to eat. I keep dropping bunches of worms in there, so the worms kind of like, you know, stay on the edge and stay moist and everything. And the duckies have gotten so big. Look at this. They're almost, look at that one. That one's, one's kind of like the medium-sized one. But there's one in here. Look at the wings on this one here. I bet you guys see that. Look at the wings on that one. It's getting really big. And then, um, they're all laying over there. And they're so big. They're getting bigger and bigger. And they're all, they're, I think this is a month old now. This is the week anyway. They come month old. Four weeks old. My goodness, time goes so darn fast. Oops. Got to go <laughs> careful. <laughs> got my legs here right beside the food, see? <laughs> they're like trying to come over and eat the food. And I got greens over there. I have to chop it up smaller because their beaks just can't handle it. And they're eating it. Oh, let's back this up a little bit. There you go. Excuse my kneecaps. I know they're not the greatest thing. White as ever. Seems like they never tan there anymore. I've gotten older. My, I remember my grandma used to say to me all the time, you wait till you get older. Your legs will stop tanning, too. <laughs> My God. Guess I'm older. I got those legs that never tan. I always ask her that. She'd always say to me, What the heck are you asking me? And I said, Well, you know, you always, you know, I don't understand why old people don't tan like they used to. And I says, Well, because when you get older, your pigment doesn't work as well. And I says, Okay, sure. I have the door actually closed because I let them out all the time and I let them out before I let the chickens out but now the chickens are out and I just they don't I don't like them being separated by mom it's all this screaming and everything I build up the sides see the little sides all the way around keep snakes out found out there was a huge kink snake king snake big black thing in my garden um I think it was about roughly close to 12 foot long man that thing's grown up I remember when uh I remember when it was only uh, three foot long. <laughs> Females get bigger than the males. And I had two males living underneath my house. And we had some problems underneath the house. And some plumbers came in. And they they um, didn't like them and killed them. So now she's out searching for a mate. And I had two nice boys around the house. But no, I've left as her. So, And I don't mind the snake. I just don't want her to get too close to the babies and eat one. Even though she, her mouth is not as big. These things grew so much bigger. I mean, if these were muscle ducks, they would be still tiny. Huh? At four, at one month, they're just starting to look like a duck. But um, what are you doing, Mama? Hmm? Mama's walking around. I put her put her old house in here, and I got this house because she was sleeping on top, and the babies were all inside sleeping, and Mummy didn't have a place to go. So I thought, well, I'll give her her old house back. Hey, Mama. Someone's going to get a bath, but the baby's got on it and made a big mess out of it. So, she never got her bath. I thought she would, but she didn't. Well, she'll get a bath tomorrow. I'll clean up all the water real good. They're all sleeping. Yeah, close their eyes. It's so cute how they close their eyes when they sleep. Look at this. I don't think you can see it or not. They didn't close their eyes when they sleep. Uh, that's really weird. I always thought, you know... They kept their eyes open, but I guess they do blink. Yeah, One makes a, a boy sound. It doesn't quack like the um, little teeny quackies. When they quack, they go quack, quack, quack. You know, they're kind of like tweet, 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 tweet. Little quacky noises. And then there's, I think the two oldest are the ones that are first born. They're already starting. One's making quacky noises. The other one's making a different type of noise, like a boy noise. The boys make um, like a... Like a hunk, hunk move noise. It's like I can't, I can't even do it. It's just so hard, and everything. These are the younger ones, I think. Yeah, one's eating a salad. She's sitting down eating a salad, or he is. I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> it's got yellow on it, and they say anything with lighter colors would be boy, and anything with no color at all would be female. So who knows? We'll find out when they get a little older. I think at two months they start really start to change. So we'll find out then. In two months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I left the door open, I would have tons of chickens in here. And it's hard to get them out. And the oldest um, chick, uh, duck, the oldest ducks will literally attack just like mother. And literally try to carry them out. 
really funny. Yeah, I heard you. You're twacking, quacking, quacking, quack, quack, quack. See, they're getting wings. They're starting to get like under. I don't know if you can see it or not. So, like, right, let me see a point here. I might think earlier. Like, they get these real close to their legs. They got this under, um, I don't know what they call it, feathers. They got tail feathers and they're getting wing feathers and they're getting under feathers. I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> they're so pretty. It's like, oh man, what a pretty color. And they'll get this big blue feather that will come out later and stuff. I mean, mommy's all both pretty little blue colors in her, you know, in her, uh, she's still shedding a bunch of feathers yet. She's like, what's going on? What's going on, mommy? What's the matter? Are we going to go out? There's one quacking, getting excited and quacking. Are we going out, mom? No, I don't think so. Cause you got, I just fed you guys and you're, the chickens will come in and eat all your food. I know you'd like coming out. Maybe tomorrow I'll let you guys out if it's not downpouring. It was downpouring this morning. You couldn't let them out. And there goes the chickens. See, they're all climbing up, looking around. Yeah, I'm in the process of moving all the feeding cans in where the little chicks or the chickies are at. I'm going to move the chickies into the bigger chickens. I already did the adult uh, little chickens in with the big chickens. And they seem to be getting along. They're chasing the favorals around because favorals are you know more docile than the other t other ones are so but they're really docile and they all get along that's how it works they all get along there's mama i think she's gonna jump up here see she's gonna jump up she's gonna jump up mama you coming up mama or is she laying down i don't know where she went she must be laying down nope she's peeking <laughs> peeking over top oh it's so funny i hate these darn flies and everything but I got done digging all that up if it rains it'll fill up and into a, an actual pond which is really cool I'm gonna lay down here beside me this is the one that follows me all over the garden I'm sitting here digging and she'll come over and start quacking at me and following me around and she gets stuck in places I have to go pick it out and whenever it's, I'm assigned to find a worm it just goes after it and says oh this is the best place to hang out with you yeah that's usually what her, your mommy always did she always hung out with me it's like little wings. Their wings on the top make them look like they got little angel wings. Yeah. They're so sweet. These are the two basically hang out together. The other five hang out together. So, usually if the this one here that follows me, that one back here is like right behind her. It's like, always they're always together. They always sleep together. They're always together. They're always eating together. So, here's the other one. Like, they're the best friends. Yeah, I was getting ready to uh, fill in all the, get the chicken wire up on all this area here and up here. Because um, after I've seen that snake, that snake can fit through the, the bigger holes. But mm, maybe not the little holes, especially if, if it eats. Last time I, I caught that female snake, <laughs> she had got into the big chicken coop area. And it was so funny. She had two of the artificial eggs I put in there with smiley faces in her stomach and she couldn't get them out she kept forcing and trying to force them out and I'm like oh wow you got you ate the two snake you know two artificial eggs so you're end up going to die or you're going to work them out so I guess she worked them out because I found them later in the uh, garden and then I think she just slivered away she didn't want anything to do with the garden anymore because you know all, I, all it is is fake eggs. Well, yeah, because I'm trying to promote the other chickens to have, lay eggs. And the only uh, California white um, chickens are only laying. The only one that's laying is Dove. And she's the youngest of them all. And she's the only one that's laying me an egg. The other ones are not laying me an egg at all. It's like, what the heck? And everybody says, you're not getting enough calcium. You're not getting them special feed. You know, I give them all that stuff. And more. They get extra fun food, too. They get lots of stuff. They get worms. They can eat anything they want. They can fill their gullop up with stuff. It's, you know, they just, I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. You know, I get more eggs out of the little bandy chickens than I do out of the other ones. Oh, and, and I get them out of the favorals. I get those little cute brown eggs from favorals. And mine says, are they going to get any bigger? I don't know. That's about the size of them. They're medium. He looks at me and goes, really? So we got small, medium, and large? Yeah, I thought that would be nice. But you didn't get me any blue eggs. Well, John, I couldn't find Americanas anywhere. So, as soon as one of my favorites goes on broodiness, 
I'm going to get a dozen of those eggs and I'm going to have a, have them, you know, brood them out. That's what I'm trying to get all those other chickens out of the other, that's my brood house. You know, I want to keep one house for brooding and all my feed, feeding areas where I can put all my feed and stuff, but I haven't got there yet. So I haven't got there when I get that done soon. I'm going to get it done and then, uh, um, if Favreau goes into a broodiness, I'm not going to keep her in with the other ones. I'm just going to move her into, uh, into the other, other place with fake eggs and, because they'll stay. Where'd you guys go? I'm sitting here taping nothing. You guys keep moving back and forth. There you are. A minute ago, you're eating all this nice, yummy stuff, and then you go walking away off of me. Oh, they know. They fill up their little gullet, and they go over and get water, and they clean the mouths and get it going. I've been working on a pond outside the chickens keep digging it i get it almost ready and the chickens come back and they dig it all up so i have to go pick up some of the um oh they're gonna go join the group now i think mom is laying there real close anyway um i'm going to uh i'm going to uh oh now where are they going are they coming over to eat i have no idea but uh they're so adorable they're getting so big mine says are we really going to eat these ducks? Yeah. What do you think I'm raising them for? I'm not raising them to to uh, have a whole bunch of ducks and never have any time for myself. Because ducks take a lot of effort and a lot of time. And, you know, and, and these smaller ducks, these type of smaller ducks, um, hawks will pluck them off. They won't touch my uh, muskull duck. She's too huge. And like I told my husband, I'll probably keep two out of this batch. I have to figure out which two I want, though. I haven't decided. I don't know. I'll probably keep the one that likes to hang out with me so much. I don't know what it is yet, though. Look at these two. They're fighting over. Who's going to get up there first? Nobody's going to go for a swim? Nope. <laughs> yeah, when they do that a lot, you know, when they get up and then flop over like that, those are called males. <laughs> the male... Males are, they get bigger feet, they get bigger everything, and they get lazier. Females are more prone to constantly want to move around and can't get enough of it. And they're all around, sitting around me. Look at this, this is really cool. They're all sitting real close to me. I'm over here with the food, that's why. I had the food, like, over here, but it got real muddy and they got all nasty. So I moved it back closer to the door. One says, when it gets windy, it's going to get dirty. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm thinking about, you know, they want to come out. And I told them, no, we're not letting you out. You're already out almost all morning. I didn't have much work to do. Oh, geez, they all went over here now. They're all over here with me. Only one is over there. The, the runt. The tiny one, the last one was being born, is right there. She's the runt. Let's see if we can get her closer. She's the tiny one. She's going to be the later developed one. I might end up keeping that one, whatever it is. I always keep the runt. Because, uh, you know, my... Um, speckles over here she was a runt she was the smallest one well i had a smaller one but it got out and something ate it so I, I don't know what happened to it she was the next to the smallest so i kept the smallest one the smaller ones make the best pets the larger ones no they're usually the ones you eat yeah everybody says aren't you going to eat your little teeny chickens no i tried one and there's nothing to them all this is, is breast meat there is no leg meat there's nothing to those things i can't believe people that eat them it's like cheaper there's nothing to them now, I can see if you get the full-size ones, you know, the ones that are, um, that are just like them but bigger. But, um, but the bandy, the tiny ones, oh, there's nothing in them. They're just no meat at all. Hey. And, I mean, I ate a rooster and it had no meat at all. And everybody said, aren't they stringy? No, not always. It all depends. They get stringier the older they get, but I don't eat them when they get that old. I mean, jeez. Anyway, I don't really want a rooster. I could, I'd rather have a drake than I want a rooster. I think a, a drake would be really much easier and stuff but a uh, rooster i wouldn't want roosters are just so much louder there's that one that's see that one right there the one sitting on the one i know that definitely that's a boy he's got the boy sounds he doesn't get up and walk around as much because he's a boy and boys when they get bigger they are let their feet get tired you see his feet are so much bigger i don't know if you can see his feet or not and he, he gets tired he'll sit down and he'll eat sitting down he just gets more tired i think it's because their bodies growing more faster and they're going to be as big as a muscle duck you know a female anyway not a male males get 15 i know it's huge and they're heavier and uh all right what are you guys doing this dang fly leave me alone i know you guys should just eat these flies they're laid right back down that's male 
Uh, females don't really do that. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Females don't do that. They want to keep moving around, and they have, their feet are smaller. This one wants to go for... Oh, no. I think that one might be a male, too. They lay in the most darndest places. If I hear... Um, yeah, that's a boy. Hear that boy? Those are two boys. Definitely boys. They make that humming noise, because females quack. And I do have a couple females that will quack, so, you know, because they're almost like um, Moscow ducks when it comes to what they say when they get older. Like, when the um, when they're babies, they all quack, and then when they get older, they start making that humming noise. You know, like, I don't know if they call it, it's a humming noise and everything, so... I think those two are definitely boys, for what I know. And uh, I don't know what else. But I mean, I guess, I don't know if girls could get to be a lighter color. I know girls can completely go black. And I don't know. I think this is this one over there was the all black one when it was first born. That was the second one was born. And the other two are like the gray color, light gray ones. are like this one and this one. They were all born the same day. Those are the first three. And then this one, this one, and this one, and that one over there were born, like, um, I think two days later, I think. Yeah, they're just laying around. You know, this over here, that one's quacking. Maybe their quackers are different. Because that one over there is quacking. That one right there, she's quacking. So that one's definitely a female. These other ones, they're not quacking. They're making that weird noise, I don't know what they call it. She's in the water, she's quacking. Or that one quacking. I can't tell who's quacking. They don't quack like um, Moscow ducks do. Moscow ducks open their mouths and quack. These ones are quacking with their mouths closed. I don't know how they do that. And stuff. Boy, these bugs all over me. These are not mosquitoes. I think the mosquitoes got, like wasp and mosquitoes got caught on the tape. The tape's all full of wasp and mosquitoes. Little black flies, those little... Oh, I hate those flies. Ugh. Those, um... What do they call them? Bot flies? Ugh. They're annoying. They're all caught on the tape, too. I don't see them flying around. The only ones left is house flies. Which, I don't really mind them. They just drive me nuts when they land on you. They tickle the crap out of you. I hope and pray I don't have a snake that gets involved here. I have to get working on my... Oh, what do they call it now? The duck housing area. Because they got two small houses back here. And they got some, you know, timothy grass. They put timothy grass over there so when they come out of the mud, they can lay down if they want to. Or they can jump in the water and get clean. Or they can go up there and swim. So I put carpet here. I need to screw that into the, um, into the um, board so they climb it easier. I can't find another board. I used it, all the boards I had for the chicken area. I just... It's hard to find boards. I wish somebody could just come over and say, Jacqueline, here, we got a bunch of boards for you. Oh, I'd be so happy and excited out because I really need them to um, kind of protect my, uh, the, to give them like a lift so they can get up easier. I don't know, whatever. And my husband said, aren't you worried about snakes getting in? Well, unless they climb up, they could climb up and get into those, uh, squares but um chicken wire they, that's a, that's the one inch chicken wire they shouldn't you know get in that easily i thought somebody's going to go in the big pond that's kind of fun because that one's deeper there is actually um they usually just jump off the side here into that water so um but there is a rock and there's a rock and a brick in there to kind of help them get out if they want to try to get out but most of the time they just hop right back out they're just like they what do you call it my daughter calls it port um like a po i can't say that word um torpedo out of the pond <laughs> that's what it is she said oh my god they just torpedo out <laughs> and i said yeah they seem to do that a lot oh well anyway just wanted to let you see how much they've grown i tried to make it another video earlier and um for some reason my player and my phone won't let it play and i need to get those cameras going i just haven't done them and then i went to go check out the cameras i did make some videos from the camera and my stinking laptop's not working. It's like, oh no. I says, do I have to buy another laptop? I can't afford this. I don't make any money doing YouTube videos. This is just a fun thing to do. And I don't have the money to buy all that kind of stuff. I wish I did have money to buy all that kind of stuff. But I don't. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to 
you know, not I want to break the bank. <sighs> Gotta to try to pay off two more credit cards and then my life is free. Free, free. I start can start saving money and maybe buy myself one of those uh what do they call those things? Those um are you gonna jump off that thing or are you gonna jump in? I don't know. Um buy one of those uh what do you call it? Uh not a um Oh, it has a roof on it. Who's quacking? See something's quacking. I don't know who's quacking. Whoa. Oh, she's going to torpedo. She's trying to deport us out. Ugh. Try to get off off the rocks. Oh, there they go. Oops. That's so funny. <laughs> they still like babies because they do flop over a lot. Oh, the wind's picking up. Are we getting another storm? I was out here when it was starting to get real windy and it started raining again. I was like, oh, great. I'm going to go inside with some with somebody. Here goes the chickens back and forth on the little back door there. Manza, are you going to fix this corner? No, it's the guy that put the fence in. He put it on an angle. And he's over a whole foot over on my side. And if he would have moved it the right way, it would have been all... Everything's straight. Everything's straight on my side. He's the one that didn't do it straight. So his fence is not straight. He's over my side on in the backyard here from, I think, that post right there. He starts going on such an angle. You barely can fit through here. Oh, I don't know. So, if he would have kept going straight back that way, I would have had a whole foot. That, you know, because right now that's like two foot. And it goes in here and it's one foot and then a half a foot. Right here, it's half a foot. And if he didn't keep bowing it back this direction, it would have been straight. So, he's he somehow didn't... He went over my side a whole foot. Everybody says, you need to go take that down to the lawyer. And, you know, I don't want to do that. It's too much work. Who's... Quacking. Somebody's quacking. Someone's got a new voice. There's one swimming. It's much more fun when they're in that one because they can really dive and they go underwater for a long period of time. But one of these days, I'm going to go down to the creek, get my tadpole. Or not tadpole. What does that call that? It's a minnow trap and put it in with some dog food. I guess somebody said dog food's the best. Or I thought thought it was bread. But anyway, put dog food or bread in it and... Um, Stick it in the water and see how many little fish I can catch. Crayfish I don't want. Oh, oh, you're making me wet. Are you having problems? There's a brick there. Get on the brick. Oh, stand on the brick and jump up. That, oh, almost, almost, almost. Oh, oh, she's kind of stuck. Oh, boy. I don't know what to tell you. Who's quacking now? Are you going to get out? Oh, I'm stuck in here now. Oh, there. She pork cheatered herself right out of there. I guess that rock there. I need to get move that rock. Who is quacking? Oh, you're stepping on me. <laughs> so funny. Oh, they're so adorable. Look at the colors in their wings. Look at that thing. Look at this one doesn't even have any really wings yet. She's only got the little specks in her wings. Some of them have actual feathers. So that's how you can tell how old they are by, by looking at them. The ones that coming up this Friday or this Thursday, Friday, Thursday is when the other ones, the first three were born. And... They're going to be a month old this coming. And then the other ones will be a month old by Saturday. It's like, wow, we need eating some salad down there. Oh, they're so active. Are you guys going to go up there and go swimming together? No? Mm, who knows? Oh, we got a stretch here. Oh, man, I missed it. It's so cute when they stretch because they got these little teeny wings and these new feathers. They don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. Who's quacking now? No, they're all chirping. So, they're getting bigger. My mom wants me to give them all away. I said, look, they're like, you know, I didn't invest my money into giving them away. <sighs> my mom always keeps saying, well, you can't eat them. Okay, so I can go to the grocery store and buy the meat there. It's the same kind of duck, but I can't raise my own and eat my own. That doesn't make any sense. Mom, don't you know what homesteading is? And she goes, no. And she goes, isn't that just, you know, your garden? No, it's raising... Raising ducks to eat them and raising chickens to eat their eggs. I know it sounds mean and horrible, but Jesus Christ, Mom. You know, you go to the store all the time. What do you think these people are doing? The people that go, you buy hamburger and hot dogs and you buy, you know, if you buy duck or lamb or whatever. I, I won't eat lambs because I've seen how beautiful those little animals are. And lambs give you wool. I mean, why would you even want to eat them? 
But she eats lamb. I don't really care for it. She keeps trying to get me to eat lamb. And I told her, no, I don't want to eat lamb. And she goes, why? I just, they're so, I love the lambs. I think they're gorgeous. They're the cutest little things in the world. I won't eat them. I won't even have one to eat. I don't even want one. I told my, my, a couple of my friends once trying to give me some goats. I said, no, I don't want any goats. Mine said, yeah, you can have goats. They'll eat the grass. You know, that's, well, if I had chicken houses, if I had the chicken houses, um, that goes, you know, the chicken tractors around my yard, I can get the chickens to do the same thing that a dang goat can do, but then I get eggs. And he looks at me, he goes, well, I never thought of that. I says, so, you know, and he goes, stop trying to invest in so much more in that garden. Every time I turn around, you're changing something. I'm sorry. Can't help myself. I enjoy them. Hey, if I had, if I could, and if I would have, and had four or five children, I would have done it. But, you know, I didn't get married until I was a lot older. I didn't have my first child until I was 30. I had my second child when I was 35. You know, I had them when I was older. And by the time I hit 35, I didn't want any more children. <laughs> um, now, if I would have gotten married younger and had two when I was younger and two when I got a little bit older, I would have been happy. Uh-oh, someone's trying to push the other one in. Don't push me in. <laughs> She's just trying to lay down. <laughs> See? Male. Female. See how bigger they are? And some people say, well, isn't that because that one's older than that one? No, those ones are, well, that one might be a little younger. But it's got, it's got wings like that one does. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to keep watching them and see how much bigger they get. Wow, it's 26 minutes already. Darn. Oh, well, anyway, I guess I should end this and start getting the chicken wire put up to keep the uh, snakes out. Because that's one thing i got to do next, keep snakes out. i got to replace the fabric along there. Um, I thought instead of putting fabric up, I have all this uh, mesh. And I thought about just putting black mesh up. Well, it's gray mesh, not black. But then I'm thinking, no, I really want to put it on top, you know. But then I, I want them to have sunlight, you know. But I can always leave, like, a little window area right there completely open. Because right now that's just rain. You know, the rain comes down and waters these. That's how I have it set up. Oh, it's a lot of work trying to get this all organized. And I'm already starting to move into my other area and those little chickens are like pecking at the cans and stuff and trying to move the cans in there. Mine's like, how are you going to get their food out? Well, I'm going to, I got buckets and I was going to take the buckets and dry them out and then I'm going to put buckets and I'm going to have their food in the bucket and bring it out and then I'm going to make sure everybody gets fed. Same thing, I'm going to, I'm going to move all the cans and everything in there because in the winter time when they get frozen closed or vice versa, I want to be able to get in there and if you know, the favor rolls. Oh, there I am again. There, oh, those ones are up there, and these ones are down here, and these ones are over there, and there's one over there. So they all here. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, they're all here. There's the littlest one. Oh, there's the littlest one. The one that doesn't have wings yet. It's got like specks for wings. That's the last one being born. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, that was the last one being born. This is the this is the third one. Oh, second one was born, and it she's so much smaller. She is definitely a female. Hello, you want to peep my finger? No, they're not like that. They like me. They ain't going to hurt me. And I think the males develop before the females. That's why I'm thinking, male, don't know, sure. Male, that one could be male. That'd be funny, I'll get mostly males. All I want is one male and one female. And the rest of them are going to go. I got friends that want to try duck. Never had duck. Told them you'd love it when you get it. You're going to want more. And, uh, but I want one male, one female, so the male can breed her and can breed that female, and then she can lay on the eggs. I'll have to somehow separate this one section over here, and that way that the older ones can come out, and then she can lay on and come out if she wants to or go back in. It's no big deal to me. And I have to make a feeding station for ducks. I haven't figured out how yet. Uh, I think it, I might want to put up a tray of some sort and hang it on the wall or something and have like water going into it and then put food in it so they can eat it through the water. But I ain't got that far. Just still working on ideas for ducks. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He says, why would you want to raise ducks? I actually think the ducks are easier than chickens. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I mean, chickens, I just buy them at store and get them from a friend and have fun with them. But Oh, yeah, we eat a lot more chicken eggs than we do, uh, um, we eat a lot more, um, duck eggs. I mean, they say duck eggs are better for you. I've never tried 
duck egg. Um, I only cook them with them in my cakes and my cookies and stuff like that. That's where I, I use them. I use them in there. I don't really use them for anything else. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Look at these guys. They're so adorable. They're so big and they're getting bigger. Oh, just so adorable. And they're so soft. Oh, I wish I could let, let you pet one. But they are super soft. Um, and I, I never picked up the, um, I never picked up the, uh, what do they call them now? The, uh, muskells when they're babies. Because I didn't know the mother. And I didn't want her to attack me. And, and I knew the mother on this one because she knows me too much. Look at her speckles growing back in her face. Look at those speckles in her face. That's why her name's Speckles. She's got her feathers back in her face. She's lost a lot of the feathers because, you know, and then her tails are missing a lot of feathers and. She's growing feathers back, but, you know, the ones in her face are so gorgeous and everything. And she just sits there and watches her babies all day long. I mean, it's like a, like a thing a mother would love to do. But um, but I, that's why I thought maybe I'll just keep, you know, because Cam, Khaki Campbells don't really like sitting. They don't go broody. And when they do go broody, they only brood, get broody for like a week and then they quit. And this way, you know, she's sitting with her. And they're sitting together. She'll stay on the nest until they're born. These, the, um, the, um, female on these won't stay on the nest. They won't do anything like that. Everybody says, well, if you breed them with, if you breed a, a duck with her, then you're going to end up having two mixed up ones. Yeah, maybe. Um, she'll have a Moscow mixed with a duck. And, but they become mules. And when they become mules, they don't breed. They don't lay eggs, they don't breed, they don't do anything. So they're kind of like, they'll end up have to be eaten. Unless somebody wants a pet that doesn't breed. <laughs> I mean, some people want animals that don't breed, but I, mean, I don't want a bunch of mules and stuff. I just want one that can breed. And, and then later on, if we want to, we can even eat the other ones. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, these are a lot to eat here. I thought I was going to get six. I was going to give two away. I was going to get four in my freezer. And be done with it. But then I ended up getting, what, nine. Two were gone. There were nothing in the eggs. And, um, and the, uh, um, there were nothing in the eggs. So then I ended up with, uh, seven. So I cut two of them. So I had nine. So, um, this lady was so generous when she gave me the, uh, the eggs and stuff that the first three were broken. I was very upset. And so she sent me a whole nother six pack. And I thought, oh my God, and none of them broke. Who is quacking over there? Anyway, I heard the new little chickens I got from my girlfriend. They're different. They they sound different, too. I should make a video of them. I need to make a video of some sewing machines I got done and repaired. I need to sit down and do that. Uh, I know a lot of people like watching those. Um, I mean, some of my, I did a brief thing on them, and some people gave me a thumbs down on them. Uh, I'm sorry. Because I only gave that to a lady that she just wanted to see it running. She wanted to see it, uh, you know, performing because she couldn't get it to move at all. So, you know, people wanted me to do more with them. I said, I'm sorry, but, you know, some people, it all depends what they want me to videotape. If they want me to videotape how to use the machine, then I go through the whole thing and tell them how to thread it and all that kind of stuff. But some people will get real upset about it. I think I should do it all the time. Well, some people don't want that. So I'm not going to be forcing it to get those people who want that. So... Whatever. Anyway, I said I was going to go, and I'm leaving now. So, have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay? Bye-bye.